Hello, this is a 39-year-old gentleman who for three years he had an explosion and the gunpowder injure his right eye and create a cataract. He's sort of faking now. He's uncorrected uh, 20, 200, and he corrects on his right eye with a minus half, minus 775 doppers of cylinder at 50 degrees to 20, 40 minus. This is his um, uh, left eye, which, which is uncorrected 20, 20 plus. We're gonna go and look at his uh, pre-op uh, topographies. Uh, these are the Pendicam maps, and you can see here the significant irregularity in the inferior um, temporal part of the cornea. We can see topographically um, significant uh, irregular astigmatism, 8.9 doctors of astigmatism seen there. And this is after topography-guided uh, normalization. Uh, his uh, prescriptions, as we noted before, were split into a uh, myopic and hyperopic uh, correction in order to reduce uh, the scar. We actually treated uh, PTK seven millimeters, um, 50 microns, a second PTK five millimeters, 10 microns, a third PTK five millimeters, 10 microns, and then away from optimized plus um, half minus six at 51 uh, degrees. This was the topo guided uh, axis of cylinder. We're gonna go and look at the um, topography images, which are less depended on the um, on the um, scarring of the cornea. This is the before. This is the today, and we are now two months uh, after the procedure. And this is the difference, showing how accurate the Wavelight X500 laser was able with these very images to normalize the cornea. Uh, we're gonna go look at the cornea clarity now and put it right next to the pre-op. This is the cornea clarity now. And if we click on the pre-op, we'll see how it used to be and how it is today. So most of the cornea has regained its clarity. And we'll go, we're gonna last look at the OptiView um, OCT total cornea thickness maps and um, epithelium maps. And this is the before showing the significantly irregular epithelium here, the cornea is thin here. Our treatment was able to um, create a much more regularized epithelial distribution, although this is not remodeled fully yet. Of course, the cornea appears to be thinner there, but um, going back to the post-op image, we have a remarkable improvement in the clarity. The patient is a uh, uncorrected 20-20 minus, so refractive wise and also very successful procedure. So uh, going back to the topography maps, uh, we can see how powerful of a tool uh, a topography guided ablation can be to um, transcend us from uh, a very regular cornea that in my older days as a cornea surgeon wouldn't warrant a cornea transplant if the patient was contact lens intolerant, and he was, uh, to a topography guided correction that will give us a far more normal cornea and far improved visual function that's very young and uh, lucky from the outcome patient. Thank you so much for watching.